What's up everybody? We're continuing on our river fishing off the bank, but something a little different today. You ever wonder what $20 right here? What will $20 in 2022 get me for salmon fishing? We're gonna look at three lures I picked out for coho salmon that fit within the $20, and I'll tell you why. Now, it being said, $20 used to go a long ways right twenty dollars could be a handful of spoons it could be a handful of dick knights spinners jigs plugs anything that could catch a salmon you sure could get a lot more out of twenty dollars ten years ago but i thought this video would be relevant right now to you guys because we are right in the middle of salmon season and a lot of people are asking on a budget what not only will work but what's gonna be the best for my money? So with this $20, I went to a local tackle shop, got exactly what I need to go catch coho right now and what's gonna be ahead. So let's check out what I have right down below and we'll show you in person what these will do and then same outfit rigging, I'll walk it all through for you guys. So what does $20 get you from the local tackle shop now? There you go three top-notch lures, three different techniques, and something that can be done boat or bank. So I really tried to broaden the scope and go fully versatility and conditions to what we have coming up. Right now, it's low water for everywhere in Washington and really the Pacific Northwest, but we're about ready to finally have the fall rains come upon us. So. I wanted to take a look at three different techniques that I know will work currently, will work going forward in the next month, and whether or not your boat or bank guys. So I'll go left to right here, a Wicked Lure. One of my favorites, as I've shown a lot on this channel, and the reason being versatility. This lure, especially um, this size, this is just a standard Wicked, will work great in these lower waters and it will work great even when we start to get a bump in the rain. So many different colors, but right now for the lower water, the black and purple is a killer, but I already have one, but if this was a change of color you wanted to do, just match to the conditions you have. But Wicked Lures would be my first choice. I got this guy today. Uh, the second thing was a twitching jig. So a twitching jig, to me is going to be something that really hits home when you get um, some good flowing water um, maybe more froggy water these wickets work great in that walking speed that you can swing and so it's two techniques there that i think really are a great versatile they're a great versatile piece to have as an angler off the shore or in the boat same rod can be used for both. It really doesn't change anything other than the water and type you're fishing. And so the last piece there is a wiggle wart. Brad's Wiggler, wiggle wart, same style plug, more or less. A bright fluorescent color. This is one of my favorites for coho and truly does well a lot of the year. We have low water right now. You could get a fish on it, but I'm playing more of this bright color when we get a bump in the water now casting off the shore works really well that also is something great out of a boat and you can cast and burn it back to you you can also back troll them so again i looked at this as three lures that not only fit for this twenty dollars but what am i going to be able to do the most with in a variety of conditions for me sometimes it may be bank fishing it may be out of out of the the raft and being able to cover a lot of water but for you guys, three lures, I think uh, for 20 bucks, you get the most bang for your buck. And again, being versatile, we're keeping that same setup you've been seeing me show, an eight and a half foot velocity spinning 12 to 20 pound rod. This is a perfect rod to fish all three of those techniques, no matter where. And that's why I really think this just helps a bank angler, it helps a boat angler, helps a budget conscious angler, because you don't have to go out and buy a ton of gear or a lot of different things. You just need a few stuff for 20 bucks and get you on the water. 
So 20 bucks goes pretty far for this day and age to be versatile and really help you out as an angler off the shore or in a boat. I want to know below what you would do with this 20 bucks. What would you buy? Can you get more stretched out of that $20 than I did for three? Maybe. I want to hear from you. I also want you guys to check this video out right here because it's going to show you my top five lures for October salmon fishing right now that you want to check out. So tight lines as always, and we'll catch you on the next one. Fish on!